His grandparents come from Lebanon. But drummer Robbie Amin is a driving force in Afro-Cuban jazz. He reflects on the differences between the culture you're born into and the culture in which you live, and how they work together in his life. Running, it's your captive audience. So I listen to music and I also learn music if I have to learn music. And I mean, I play every day and I love practicing and I love, but if I have to learn something, I just put it on the back burner. And running, you have no choice. I put the headphones on and I learn the music on the hour run. One of the longest relationships I've had is with Ruben Blades, salsa singer, poet, actor, lawyer, a true Renaissance man. That's one person that I've really always treasured and continue to work with. And another, you know, highlight of my whole life was to play with Dizzy Gillespie. I didn't really feel like I deserved to be on the record. I had only been in New York a couple of years, and the guys from the record company called me and said, what are you doing today? And I went to the studio, met him, we played together for a while, and then the band came and we just started recording. So it was one of those things I didn't have even a chance to get nervous, think about like the whole, wow, the implications and all that. I got started on drums. It was a project in elementary school and we had to make Native American instruments, which would be drums. So I got these inner tubes of tires and stretched them over these, uh, these cans with uh, shoelaces and chopsticks. And then I kind of made a little drum set out of that. My parents knew that I wanted to be a musician even before I went to college. So I had the opportunity to go to a really good college and my father said, you should go and study whatever you want, which was a true luxury, knowing you're gonna do something else when you graduate because it'll probably help you in a more of an abstract way, which I think is actually really true. Conrad Herwig always, when he introduces me on the bandstand, he, he, he always says um, uh, his father let him go to Yale so long as he promised that he'd keep up playing jazz drums to have something solid to fall back on. <laughs> Great drummers on the planet today. Please put your hands together, Mr. Robbie Amin. Robbie Amin. Thank you very much. Uh, you're listening to the uh, the Days in the Life Band. Uh, now we're going to play a song that has some, um, as the Latinos say, Arabic influences. Uh, this is the hometown of uh, my mother's parents, and it's in Lebanon. And uh, I wrote this song. Uh, you know, thinking about my past, my ancestry, and I really wrote it so I can maybe get a gig in Lebanon. Right. So. <laughs> Both of my parents were born in the United States, but all sets of grandparents came from Lebanon. My mother's parents were from uh, Baklin, uh, and uh, they were Abu Ismail was their family name, but they changed that to Sam's, because I think they knew of an American guy named Sam, so they figured we put an S, sounds good, Sam's. This will be the last name when they came over. My mother's from Michigan, my father's from Virginia, and they met, and they're both Druze, which is a mystic religion. That's your grandma, great-grandmother, and some of her kids, because she had a lot of kids. My father wasn't born yet. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at him. Mi amor, ven pa' que tu ve eso. La foto. 
It all depends on. My wife is Cuban, Ana. I speak Spanish almost half the time. Even though I'm of Arab origin, I'm really known for my Afro-Cuban style, which is kind of funny on the other side because most, you know, Latinos that I meet are always surprised to find out that I'm not, um, you know, Latino. Our daughter, Lucia Zaina, she's a Lebanese Cuban. Fortunately, if, if she was only Lebanese Cuban, it would be a kind of a messed up passport to have travel-wise Cuban Lebanese passport, but she's got a US passport. My first marriage was to a Lebanese American. We have a son, Tajreed. He goes by Taji. My son, at one time, was a pretty successful skateboarder. And I've done many, many, many records over the years, but usually as a side man or co-leader, and I felt it was not be important to write almost all the music and the arrangements if it was going to be my record. When I thought about who I wanted to play on this record, you know, you want, you want to play with your, with your friends. Being concert musicians, we actually just knocked it out in two days. And you get a little bit of magic that way when you're talking about that kind of experience and that kind of friendship. You know, your blood stays with you, but culturally, the people you spend all your time with, even as a kid, music, things like that, it's kind of who you are, more than just your blood. Mm -hmm. 